So let's quickly go through what I like and dislike about each of these saws. Then I'll perform a clever-ish cutting test and see if we can mathematically quantify the difference between these two saws in terms of precision and speed. And finally, we'll bring back old Leroy from the Home Depot and he can cast judgment on me and let you know how big of a moron I am for purchasing this saw on a scale of one to 10. So I borrowed this DeWalt saw from my buddy Clayton, but this was also the first saw that I ever purchased some 20 years ago. Back then it was the DW706. Now the thing that I always loved about this saw was the handle, the trigger, and the blade guard combination. The handle is a simple handle. You pull the trigger, the saw turns on. There's no crazy little safety switches or anything. And the blade guard, this is the best thing about this saw. I don't know if this is safety wise, but you can pull the blade guard out of the way and you can put the blade at a certain angle and you can sight right onto a mark like a rifle. Yeah, so with the Festool Capex here, I've never really liked the trigger blade guard switch combination on this. I don't mind having my hand in line with the blade because it actually, I do do a lot of cutting left-handed, so that's pretty nice. So in order to get the blade guard to release, you have to depress this and then you can kind of line your cut up this way. Uh, there's no real rifle sighting with this combination because you can't see through the blade guard and there's no easy way to pull it out of the way and hang on to the handle at the same time. It's my least favorite thing about this saw, dust collection. Now this is really where these two saws just diverge. Over here with the Festool, they claim that it can collect up to 91% of the dust from the cuts. I really don't think it's quite that good. I think that that rating is probably with the bigger hose. I use the smaller hose just because I move it around to different things and it works better for me that way. Yeah, so we'll do a quick test here. I'll do 25 cuts on each of the saws hooked up to the same vacuum and then we'll get a nice little visual on the dust collection difference. So yeah, I ended up doing 50 cuts just to get a little better results here. So as you can see with the Capex, there is sawdust around the back here. You know, it's not 100%, it's not even 90%. It's about 75, 80%, I would say. Now with the DeWalt, uh, it looks pretty clean at the front of the saw. But yeah, if you look at the back of the DeWalt here, <laughs> it's, it's terrible. There's sawdust everywhere. It's just shooting all over the place. It's almost like I didn't even have the vacuum hooked up to the back here. The simple design. I've always loved this saw because it's extremely simple. There's not much that can go wrong with it. There's no slide mechanism. To adjust all the bevel stops, you just have bolts and little levers that flip out. The blade guard mechanism is extremely simple and then it's just an arm with a little spring load right here. So there's just not a lot that can go wrong with this saw. And then over with the Capex here, I mean, this is, it's not an overly complicated design, but you just have a lot more moving parts. You have ball bearings, you have a rack and pinion spring-loaded system here for the beveling. You have this crazy gizmo, which I've never quite really used much. It usually just sits over on the shelf. Lightweight. Both these saws are extremely lightweight and easy to carry. Uh, the Festool is 51 pounds, and this little guy here is 41 pounds in capacity. Now there's a reason that a lot of cabinet installers use this saw. You can cut the six and five eighths width crown molding in the nested position here. You can cut up to, what is it? Six and three quarter inch baseboard standing up, if that's the way you like to cut. Uh, I think you can cut up to like a one by eight baseboard laying down. Yeah, so the thing that eventually led me to a slide saw is I ended up doing a bunch of houses that had one by 10 and one by 12 baseboards. It was a big craze in the late 90s. Um, so you pretty much need a slide saw for that cut. But the thing that kind of led me to the Capex, it has pretty much the same capacity for cutting crown in the nested position, which I prefer to do. Both the saws are labeled at six and five eighths, but I've actually been on some sites working with guys with this saw, this saw in particular, um, cutting a seven and a quarter crown, and they couldn't quite cut all the way through on the DeWalt. 
And then on the capex, I could cut all the way through. Yeah, so the bevel and miter adjustments with this saw, this is the best saw in the world for bevel and miter adjustments. The miter adjustments on this saw are awesome. The scale is giant. The lines are nicely spaced apart. The little gauge has a little green arrow. It's super easy to read, even with my older eyes. Over here on the DeWalt, yeah, the miter adjustment, there's nothing wrong with it. The gauge is super easy to read. The little dial indicator here is just kind of like a little piece of plastic that comes to a point. Not quite as easy to see. Um, in poor lighting, it can be a little difficult to line things up here. Bevel adjustment on this saw. This is the nicest thing about this saw is number one, you can see the bevel adjustment. Super huge gauge. It's the rack and pinion adjustment here, which is just amazing. So you can dial this thing 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half, 15 three quarters, like it's awesome. Cost, I mean, at 349 bucks American, this is a, an amazing value and deal on a saw. Like I said, this is 2007. So Clayton's been using this for 13 years. The saw still cuts great. It's an amazing value for that price. 1500 bucks, this is not a good value <laughs> by any stretch. It's an amazing saw, but at 1500 bucks, it's not a good value. Think about where you're gonna be using the saw. If you're gonna be uh, in an apartment building or on some shifty type sites, yeah, having this $1,500 saw is not the greatest. All right, let's test these saws out. So I have invented a foolproof way to test these saws out. Super scientific, no bias, extreme accuracy, whatever you do, do not question this at all in the comments. I don't want to hear any of it. This is absolutely foolproof. So what we're going to do here is 10 cuts on each of the saws. We're going to cut this uh, half inch by three and a quarter inch baseboard, we're calling it. So we're going to make 10 cuts on each of the saws. Just your typical kind of outside corner, inside corner. All the cuts will total up to 67 inches. So at the end of it, we'll see just how accurately I can cut with each of the saws. And then we'll also get an idea of the speed of each of these two saws. I'll cut the baseboards laying down on the Capex and on the DeWalt, I'll cut them standing up on the fence. All right, so that was pretty fun. Uh, so if we look at the results here, it was definitely quicker with the Capex at six minutes and 58 seconds. I believe it was uh, 7.36 for the DeWalt, so pretty close, slightly faster with the Capex. All the cuts that I was making, if I was cutting an outside corner, I was cutting at 45 and a half, and then on the inside, 44 and a half. And then in terms of accuracy, for the Festool Capex, I was under 1 16th of an inch in total air if I add up all the lengths of the pieces that I cut. For the DeWalt, it was 3 16ths of an inch. So there's definitely a little bit more accuracy with... Hey, whoa, Leroy, what are you, uh, hey, what man, are you hey. doing down there, man? Oh, hey, 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 I found your finger down here, man. Here you go. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Leroy. Ah, oh, that, that feels better. Thank you. So Leroy, what do you say? How big of a moron am I for getting this saw that's four times the price of oh, that well, saw? Oh, uh, well, you know, um, well, uh, I, I kind of want to say 10, but um, I reviewed all the footage and I mean, man, that Festool Capex, that is one sweet saw, so, Oh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to say that you're about, um, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I want to say 9.5. <laughs> well, there you have it. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see some more tool reviews right here, do it for Leroy. We'll see you on the next video. Tune. Yeah.